Now I'd like to show you how to import a 3D file. In this case, an iGIS file. On the Upgrade tab, you can see I have File Import. I've created a new model here. I'm going to select this Relief drop-down menu here and click Import 3D Model. Here we have a file called Dan's Head and I'm going to open that. And it creates this dialog box here called Pace 3D Model. I'm just going to apply and it will show me where the model is in regards to our coordinate system here. So the model is up here somewhere. So I'll just zoom out so you can see. And I'll just do this quite quickly. I'm just going to change all of these positions back to zero. So it places the model somewhere near our sheet. If I just click this view here, then you can see we're still quite a long way off the centre of it and if I select this here you can see that it's been rotated so I'm just going to rotate this round let's say 5 degrees I'm just going to eye this up so let's try another 5 degrees and I think that will be fine here you can see it's quite off in the Z so I'm just going to move this down let's try 100mm that looks fine. This is just rough and I'll go back onto my isometric view and there you can see we have a head placed on the sheet. I can also change the size of this if I like. I can actually link all of the dimensions in place. So let's say 250mm in X so it's going to make this wider. There you can see it's linked all of the sizes so all of the model has grown. I could unlink it. Just select all of those. And let's change the width in X to 275. So this is going to skew it a little bit. There you can see it stretched it out in X. I'll just link all of these back up for the time being. Also, if this was a component, which a lot of IGIS files are from customers, you can add, for instance, shrinkage onto this for machining, for let's say mould making. So I could change that to 100.6 and this would make a uniform scale on the model. So I'll apply that, then you can see that's made the model larger. And finally, when I'm done, I can click paste and close the model and that gives my final part ready to be machined.